Hi guys, Peter Finch here, teacher professional down at Trafford Gold Centre in Manchester. And I've just come out today to the top of my tan, but also just to do a video on how to stop flipping the hands through impact. It's just following on from one of my subscribers' questions about how you can stop this, because it can become destructive in a number of different ways. Flipping the hands through impact can cause a fat shot when the angle between the wrists and the club kind of decreases too soon, coming into impact so you can hit behind the ball. It can also cause a thin if it comes up too quickly and you catch the middle of the ball, but it can also cause a very high shot when you flick up and away. Now there's one dead easy way you can practice this, which just seems to have fallen slightly out of fashion recently, which is a great, great shame, and that is just to use a smash bag. Now a smash bag, I've got a official smash bag here if you want to call it that, but smash bags are literally everywhere. One of the easiest smash bags you can make is just to find yourself an old rucksack that you don't want anymore, stuff it full of old towels, and all of a sudden you've got a perfectly functioning smash bag that you can use to create a better angle between the club and the wrists at the point of impact. Now a smash bag, like I said, dead easy to use. All you need to have, just one like this, stuff full of old towels or whatever you want to use, and set it, I've got a 7-iron here, set it, so the center, well, the right side of this smash bag falls into the center of your stance. Like a ball position would pretty much with a ball, well, just forward of center. Now, what you want to be doing is turning to the top of the swing. And from this point here, you can see the angle between the wrists and the club, which you've developed. And what you want to be doing is keeping that for as long as possible into the ball, also called a lag angle you might have heard described about. So into the ball as long as possible. And then at the point of impact is to release it so the arms straighten and you deliver a real punt of power into the ball. Now, this is what happens when you actually start to flip the wrist through. You come down, the wrist lose their angle, and you actually flip into the ball like this. And like I said, that causes that kind of cacophony of problems, really. So to get the angle between the wrist and the, kind of the ball better at impact, you want this position here, where the hands are ahead, leading the club, and they're just pressed slightly ahead at impact. Obviously, this is a bit of an exaggeration. You just want them slightly ahead at impact. And to use a smash bag, it's, well, clues in the name, really. You just need to start smashing the bag. What I wouldn't do, guys, is hit the bag very, very hard, because that can cause injuries to the wrist, and that's the last thing you want to be doing. So you just want to be swinging down and through, keeping that angle, getting those hands slightly ahead of the smash bag at impact, slightly ahead of the ball at impact, as it would be. So away down into there and you can see the slow motion hopefully I'll get a slow motion swing up there just kind of getting the hands ahead of the smash bag at impact really does help keep those angles much much better from the top of the swing down and in and you don't want to be hitting it any harder than that now what you can do if you kind of source yourself a smash bag make yourself a smash bag you can have 10 of those shots just kick it to the side and then just try and repeat the same position while you're actually swinging so into a nice setup position to the top and then just get those hands ahead at impact. God, I really do need to start following my own advice. Might be playing Rick tomorrow on a course vlog, so I might stay out here for a bit of cheeky practice as well. But it's getting in this setup position, hands ahead of the ball at address, to the top of the swing, maintain that angle and get the hands ahead of the ball or ahead of the smash bag. Same feeling. Now with a smash bag, it's a little bit of technical work because you need to understand about the wrists and the angle between the club shaft coming down. But mostly, it's just hitting it. It's just constant, constant practice actually smashing into this bag. Now you can do it down at a driving range, but you can do it in the comfort of your own home as well. You don't need to be hitting balls straight after. Just re repetition, repetition, repetition on the bag will start to really groove that much better impact position. So give that a go, guys. Uh, please comment in the box below if you've used a smash bag before, and if you want to give this one a go. I can always offer a little bit more advice if I've not been quite clear about something. But please like the video. Feel free to share it around. Uh, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter as well, and it'd be great to hear back from you. Check out my other videos as well. As much feedback as you can, it'd be great. Now, sun's staying out, so I'm going to stay out here for a practice, and I hope you will, guys, you guys will as well. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you down here next time.